Ay, muy malo. Now representing the fractions on the number line. Now what exactly is happening here is I talk about this example that I given in this slide here. Now what I do is if I have a number 1 by 2 Oh, so I know 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. So that means what? 0 0.5 will lie between 0 and 1. Isn't it children? So what I do is because the denominator is 2 here, I will divide the gap between 0 and 2 into 2 equal parts. So my this part is nothing but half or 0 0.5. I have 2 with the denominator, so what I do is I divide the gap between 0 and 1 into 2 equal parts. So these are 2 equal parts. Now if I have 2 by 3, well, 2 by 3 it's approximately around 0 0.66 something. So 2 by 3 again is 9 between what? 1 and 0 and 1. 0 and 1. But what I do here is because, because I have 3 parts here. What I do is I divide the gap between 0 and 1 into 3 equal parts. So if this is 0, this will be 1 by 3 and this is 2 by 3. And this is what we want here. This is what we want here. Now if I give you 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 is 0 0.25. But how do I mark this on a number line? Again I know it lies between 0 and 1. Now because there is 4 in the denominator, what I do is I divide the gap between 0 and 4 into 2 equal parts. I mean 4 equal parts. So this is 0. So this is 1 by 4. This is 2 by 4. And this is 3 by 4. So I want this. So based on the number that is there in the denominator, I divide the gap between 0 and 1 here. Now can I have any other number also apart from these numbers? But you can just make a note here. Sir, uh, can I ask a doubt? Neha, just wait. Just wait, please. Sir, what I want to ask is that... Uh, oh, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Give me a minute. I'll tell you, I'll just give you that. Neha, yes, Neha, you wanted to say something. Yes, sir, that, uh, I, what I want to ask is that, if in a number line, we have to figure it out, one, uh, 2 by 5, then we have to draw 0 to 1 and then mark 5 points in it, right? You will mark 4 points. I have 4 here, I mark 3 points here, I have oh, three, okay. three, 2 points here, but what you do is, if you have 2 by 5, 2 by 5 is what? 2 by 5 is 0 0.4, isn't it? Yes sir. Now what I do is, I know 0 0.4 is again lying between 0 and 1. Now because 5 is there here, I will divide the gap between 0 and 1 into 5 equal parts. That means I mark 4 points. Yes sir. So this is 1 by 5, this is 2 by 5, 3 by 5, this is 4 by 5, and 5 by 5 is anyways 1, so I want this one. So I have divided the gap between 0 and 1 into 5 equal parts. Children, are you clear with Yes, sir. Okay. Radhima, can you put yourself on the mic, please? I think you have put only put yourself on lesson only mode. Yeshika, you typed yes. Acha, that was previous. Fine. What you didn't understand, Yeshika? I didn't get it. How we put it on a number line? What is it you didn't get it? I didn't get the, you know, the, you know, rounding of stuff near. 
you know, kind. This is simple division, right? Two by three. Sir? This is simple division, isn't it? Two by three is simple division. Yeah, and you're and why and I didn't get anything about zero point six and everything. Six six and everything. Zero point five, zero point twenty five. What I'm saying is I'm just giving you. You know division, right? Do you know division or not? Yeah. Uh, so one by two can written as zero point five. Yes or no? Yeah. So what it means is zero point five means what? It is lying between zero and one. Um what? So zero point five is lying between zero and one, isn't it? It is less than one but greater than zero. Mm, yeah. So because two is there in the denominator, I will divide this gap between zero and one into two equal parts. That's exactly this point. Okay. Okay. If I have two by three, what I do is I divide the gap between zero and one into three equal parts. And when I divide two by three, I get approximately zero point six 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 goes on like this. So what it tells me is two by three is lying between zero and one. Because three is there in the denominator, what I do is I divide the gap between zero and one into three equal parts. This is one part, this is one more, and this is the other. Okay. Um no, I didn't get it. So what I'm saying is if you have two by three, what you do is you divide the gap between zero and one into three equal parts. Okay. My first part is one by three. This is two by three. So this is what I want on the number. Um, I still didn't get it. What is it you didn't get? Let me understand. I didn't get I didn't get how many parts we're gonna divide. I still didn't get the I I am dividing the number of parts based on the denominator. That's what I'm saying. Here it was two. So I divide the gap between zero and one into two equal parts. Here it is three. I divide the gap between zero and one into one, two, three parts. Here it is four, so I divide into one, two, three, four parts. Um, okay, but I'm saying the numerator is, uh, yeah. Um, now, now, here I have 5 here, so I'm dividing the gap between 0 and 1 into 5 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But I want 2 by 5, right? So 2 by 5 is my second part. Um, okay. Okay, I get it now. Yeah. It's probably so we just we we divide the you know we divide it according to the new according the according to the de denominator yes. and then yes. we yes, and then we and choose and we choose one point according to the numerator yes yes okay Can we move on? Yes, sir. Okay. Pradima, you wanted to type something. I'm still not, I mean, probably I think you stopped in between because of your connection. Sir, can we continue? Yeah, yeah, we can, but I think your friend Pradima wants to say something. She is not able to. Okay, children, we are moving.